Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We have Doug in the house. Hello. Uh, <laughs> hello. Um, right at the present moment, we have torn the front end off the car, or Doug tore the front end off the car. And uh, what's going on is the red support was bad in the front. After we fixed the, the piece in the front, that looks fantastic. I jacked the car up on it. You could, you would never know that that was fixed, that piece. That's how well that went in there yeah, after uh, Nathan welded that up. It looked awesome. We got the red support off over here. We're starting to get it cleaned up and get, just to show what's going on, uh, we got some rust down here and this would be the easiest time to fix it when it's off. I did not want to take it off, but the car told me I had to take <laughs> it off to fix it and do it right. Uh, we have the rad support yet to fix. When we were fixing or got the rad support off, I noticed that um, where the battery was, uh, it had a rusty spot. You can see I, I actually cut it out before Jolene got here and she said, just hold up a second. So I've cut this piece out. It was rusty. Uh, we're rusty down here in the front. Rusty down here in the front and it's not hanging together. Uh, it had a piece of bronzed on top of it. You can see where the bronze is here. It had a piece, a flat piece of bronzed on the top of it all the way around. I just kind of, you see the brass around there. It was just a flat piece that covered all this. So you could not see that seam. It was just a quick repair. I want to repair it just a little bit better where we have the front end off and the, the, the inner fender off. Uh, the other inner fender is over here being stripped off. We're just putting a little paint stripper on it trying to get some of the black paint off it. I do not want to restore this car. <laughs> I'm not wanting to restore this car, but in, in actual fact, um, we're just going through it and getting the rust out of it, basically. Um, on this video, I'm, I'm gonna do this rust repair on this inner fender just to show you how I'm gonna do it. But we have, just going through this car, we have this all tied together now. We have the back piece tied together, this little brace coming out. I put that, got that piece of metal put in there coming down and got that all tied in there all welded on there so this this corner is completed like it's it's all connected in the back uh, we got that piece in there uh, i did the little fix on the front uh, the front mount you can see how this is the mount here that was holding the car up not the one on the inside so this is the one out here that was holding everything in place and tight and right right now doug is scraping off grease oil whatever he can rust whatever he can to so we can clean it up a little bit uh, where, where we have the inner fenders off we'll probably end up rock guarding those we'll we'll clean them up and do something with them um, and that's what we're doing so we're we got the other corner down here geared up that's all welded up this one here is all done you can see the new piece of metal put in here sorry about that doug we got the, no the brace connected um, that's all done there had the outside done but it did not have the inside done to close that all off. When I head up on the hoist, I showed you there was a mouse house. Uh, <laughs> what else? Oh, yeah, it's all closed off. There's awesome. nothing going on there. That all looks good. Just needs to be seam sealed, I would say. Oh. So we have the red support left to do, and we have the inner fender to do for rust work. Then we're gonna clean it up and try to get the front end back on the car. It's gonna take a little bit. We have some uh paint stripper here in the house it's on that side i think we're going to end up trying to strip the rest of the paint off the car uh, that paint stripper there is just it's just a paint stripper um, it does not take off primers it will it will take off paint sometimes <laughs> sometimes but it does not take off primers. Kinda. it has we i have got it on top of here i've been trying to it's not really it's doing a little this must be a clear coat on this one that's what it's peeling that off but I have got it put on there. We want to get all the paint stripped off it. We want to get all the paint stripped off because I want it paintless. And where the quarter panels are stripped, the doors are stripped, the fenders are all welded up and stripped. Uh, we'll clean the inside of the fenders and we'll do something with those before we put them on. And we'll show you exactly how we're going to do it. I'm thinking that we'll probably just end up cleaning and rock guarding everything uh, to make it look good. Everything's welded up, get it sealed from the back side, and then we'll go from there. When I said the other day that we might start selling some of these cars, this car here is going to be for sale. Um, what am I going to say? It, it's going to be for sale. I'm going to go with it as long as I can to get the front end on and get the fenders back on, get the rust work done. Um, 
We know, or whoever's been watching, the floor's been all done. It's got new rockers on it, new inside rockers on it. Uh, the floor's been figured out, that sort of stuff. Um, the car needs, still, it still needs um, a lot of work if you want to paint it and that sort of stuff. But my vision is bare metal. Um, not many cars in the 50s you see running around bare metal. Um, and the reason I say bare metal is because you could uh, acquire it from me and Jolene and then you could just run it and keep it clean and, and have fun with it. I have been running around the shop, or running around like the place and finding things, what I like and what I don't like. Uh, I've picked up a set of fat wheels for the back. It has been lifted in the back. There's many different styles that you can make this car have. You can lower it in the back. You can put a skirt on the back. You can have it up in the back. You can have it up in the front for a gasser. Um, there's so many different styles that you can do. But where this one is, what can I say? Been so heavily repaired in places. Um, it's not something that I would try to go back to original. And the reason being is it's cheaper and more practical to make it what you want. Um, it's one of those vehicles, if, if you want to leave it in bare metal, it looks fine. If you want to paint it, you have to understand that you're going to apply and spend money on it. Um, where I'm taking this vehicle is bare metal, back together, running, brakes, driving. That's where I'm taking it to. But anyways, I had this, I had this pipe out there. I just figured um, this car would look cool with something like this on the bottom of it, maybe jacked up in the back, uh, lower in the front. Uh, there is a, you know, I guess it would be a 70s look um, where the car's got fat tires on the back. Did I leave that letter long enough for you? Um, where it's got fat tires in the back. I also went and grabbed a couple rims to see not every car that I have, I have has to have white walls on it. <laughs> I like them, but it does not have to have that. But this car could be, you know, a good driver for somebody. Uh, and what am I going to say? Uh, there was somebody that asked about acquiring the car. And uh, I want to make it, well, just for everybody on the YouTube that watches. If there's anybody on the YouTube that watches, basically, the car, I, I, will, I will sell the car for what I paid for it. Plus material. So that's, that's what I will sell the car for to a YouTube subscriber. What I paid for it and the material. So the month that I've got into it, making quarter panels, fixing wheel wells, spraying trunk, making floor, making rockers, um, all that sort of stuff is free, if you can understand that. There's probably what I'm, like, so if you watch the videos, you know what we paid for the car. I add material to it and that, and it can be sold for that. What's that? 85 is what I'm thinking. We paid 65 for it. You watched us. Um, probably wasn't um, the best purchase on my part. Uh, the man that I bought it from, he was honest with me. You know what I mean? He didn't tell me it was this and it was that and it wasn't this. And it was my decision. Um, when I looked at it, I thought, hey, I'll go for it and try it. It was in back there. But as I go through it, I have found that, you know, I have to fix some stuff. Um, so it's 65 plus a couple thousand dollars for material and that pays for all the metal, pays for all the stripper wheels, pays for all the sandpaper, uh, pays for the welder, pays for the, the, the gas and that sort of stuff. But it would be a good car, you know, I'm not asking anything for labor. There's probably, if I charge labor, there, it probably would be another $10,000 on top of it um, to do what has been done, to make two quarter panels, fix the, the trunk, do the floor, do the rockers, um, do take off the front end, fix it. Anyways, if you're into cars, you would know um, that that costs money. But if there's anybody interested in the car, oh my God. 65 is what I paid for it, and I'm gonna charge two extra for the material. So we're just gonna keep on going it on a little bit. And if you're interested in this car, I mean, I still have lots to do to get the front end on, all that labor to get the front on to fix all this stuff is not in there. Um, I've already given you the price and having to get the front end on it. So you obviously, <coughs> know where I'm going with this, but I feel like this would be a good starter car for 
anybody that wants to get in the hobby and have something that they probably could get in and drive and they can make it theirs. I gotta get to work. So I got this whole cut here. As, as I look at this, or anybody looks at that, it's it's rotten here in the front. It's it's held together with a pair of vice grips there. Um, and it has, and if you see where I cut it, there's a there's a little bit of a roll going on there. And it goes around and it's got a funny shape. And it was just a flat piece of metal, which is probably pretty basic to put in there, but I didn't want the rot there. I took a piece of, a piece of paper every time. Made a little piece of paper, fits in there just like so. But I still have this going on, this rot in here going on, and I have the rot in the front going on. So this is how I'm gonna do it. You can take it what you like and throw away the rest if you like, but this is what I suggest. Where we have a flat panel, that's easy to make. I just made the pattern. Um, we have this down here. I'm going to have to make a pattern of this down here. And I'm going to have to make a pattern for along here. And I'm going to weld that together and then cut some stuff out and then apply that piece. So we'll make this piece first and then we'll add to it. Let's do it. So the first car is for sale uh, that, that we've done or played with. And I, I must say, and I'm, and I'm going to say it, and the reason being is, um, the reason being is I can't, I'm, I'm not going to be able to repair, fix, prime, paint, interior, motor, brakes on all the cars that we've been doing. I'm not going to be able to do that. If there is a car that you're interested in that we have done on the YouTube, shoot us. A messy or whatever and uh, we'll see what happens some of them a couple of them I am NOT going to let go because I want to fix but you know um, I cannot fix them all and I would let maybe some of them go or one or two of them go or three or four I have no idea and uh, I will treat you right and the reason being is um, you guys have done us right on the YouTube station and followed along. Um, if you do not follow the YouTube station, um, you do not get the same price. How's that? You have to prove to me that you're on the YouTube. That's the way I'd like to do it. And uh, that's the way I'm going to do it. So that's that piece. Get this one cut out. Glasses on. So Doug knows that there's a lot of work on in this car. That isn't there, Doug? Oh, is there ever? Yeah, is there ever? I still love this car, though. I still love it. I love it too, Doug. But I know, but she's got it now. Can't keep everything, man. I, I'm, tell me all about it. So that's that's what's happening on the car. You just keep what Jolene will let you keep. That's right. So right now, Doug is taking, trying to take a paint stripper and, and applying it to the roof. And uh, we're trying to strip all the paint off the car. And we're trying to make it as reasonable as possible. But that stripper um, is, there's another, um, Another thing that's costing money is that stripper to strip that paint off that roof. But I'd like to, I want to get it all stripped down. Um, we're just doing something quiet for once here. Something usually, quiet for once? Yeah, usually I'm making noise. So. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. But if you feel like you need this car or want this car or could, or could finish this car and drive it and have fun, it's here. But we've got great a great grocery getter. Great grocery guy. Would. I just think it would look cool with the paint off. Uh, maybe hot rod it somehow, some way. Make it your car. Do whatever you like to it. Paint something on the side of it even. I just feel like when you get in to start to paint this car or try to... We get a step ladder too, Doug, if you need it. <laughs> um, we ha if you try to get into painting this car, how much more money you're going to spend. But if you're a self efficient and and can do the work you can have a 
pretty awesome car as far as I'm concerned. And all I'm trying to do is make this piece the best I can when I cut it out, obviously, because the best I can, or, you know, make it fit the best. We're, we're there, we're not bad. Now we got to make a pattern for this right here. I've got this held together with a pair of vice grips here, but there would be no sense in me trying to bend that down when it has a bend on an angle this way and a bend this way. When I bend that down, I'm only going to be able to bend it straight. This piece is not required to be straight. It's on an angle here. So it's better for me, or, or my opinion, is to make a pattern of this and then weld it to that edge. And that's what I'm going to do. Vice grips off. You can, I don't like how that took off, but uh, my marker, where did I put my marker? I left it over there, didn't I? Sorry, sweetheart. Right back. Be right back. I'm not sure I'm even right on the other side. Sometimes a pattern is hard to get if you haven't got anything. Going around the back side. Just gonna do this. All right, that there. Or that's the same see it's a little bit longer than that. Weld on there, we'll just cut that little tab off. We can cut that off after, it does not matter. Let's make this piece. I want the cover. And what I'm doing down here is just going for the smaller pieces of metal. Probably have a piece of metal back there that I cut off that. Making the smaller pieces of metal to do what I need to get done. Hello. Doug's got the roof Hello. Hello. coming off. I want to thank everybody for coming back. We appreciate it. Hit like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, Douglas. Hit Doug? like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. What? Hit like and subscribe. Bad Chaz channel. Comment. Come back. Say nice things. <laughs> Be polite. <laughs> Say nice things and be polite. Be nice. Some people never got that 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 that, that memo. Where did that come from? Oh, the handle. Did you see that? That, that bolt fell out of the sky. Where did that come from? <laughs> sky bolts. It was sky bolt right there. Look. You can get them at Princess Auto.
Yeah, so the more that we dig into this thing, or the more that, yeah, the more that we dig into it, the more that we find. And that's okay, or I guess that's the way every car goes. It's a, it's a sort of thing when you know, this is what I'm gonna say. If you have a quarter panel that's rusty here, or you have something that's rusty down here, generally, it's rusty in behind there. Mm -hmm. It's rusty in behind there. And the reason being is there's two pieces of metal. If it's rusty down here, generally it's rusty. It needs to be replaced here. And it'll need to be replaced on the other side, on the inside trunk panel. Just like this, where it's rusty here. Generally, if you go to the other side, it's rusty there. So when you're buying your car or you're looking at your car, take that in. Take that little piece of information and take it and do what you want with it, but um, realize if you have something rusty on the outside, it's generally rusty on. So I'm going to take put that on there like that, and then I'm going to bend this piece because I can, and then we'll get that welded on there and we'll do that. But now what I got to do is, is I've got this piece here like this. You can see that um, I've got a hole going on there. So now I'm going to wrap a piece all the way along there and um, cut that out and, and we'll, we'll put, a, put a, a new piece in her. So let's get a, let's say, uh, a one inch piece strip. Maybe I can cut a piece of one inch strip, maybe. I reckon maybe. Look at that now, would you? Lots. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to clean this off. And one way, one way to look at this car, if you think you want, like to purchase it, look at all the work that you've got done for free. And then you can thank Doug and me and Jolene. It's good. And, I'll, and, I, and I can guarantee you this, you can pay 65 in pay materials for something like this, or you can pay $23,000 and have something like this, <laughs> and have the exact same thing to do. It all depends on the situation, but you must realize that just because a car is a lot more money um, does not mean that it does not need that work. Um, this car uh, was kind of, it showed me that it needed all this work because of all the rust that was on it. But in all honesty, I have also bought in cars that have no rust showing like that, has little glimpses of it, but it still needs that much work. So, you know, if you're in the, in the realm of buying a car, you can pay a lot more money for a car and have the exact same problems. A lot more money. How do I know this? From experience. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby! <laughs> and you can say, well, you should have looked at it better. You should have looked at it better. You should have looked at it better. Well, to be honest with you, you don't really know until you get something up on a hoist and you start tearing it apart, whether or what it is, you know? Oh, my car is in excellent shape. Well, give me a half hour. Let me tear it apart <laughs> for a bit, and then I'll let you know how good it is when I die. Get that right. Yeah. yeah. So we've, we found a lot of stuff in this car that I, I never knew before. And I've also fixed some stuff that I knew that need to be fixed. So it's kind of half dozen one the other. Need a ground on this bad boy. So now I'm just gonna add these pieces on this panel to fit that. So I've got one, I got one, two, three pieces. So basically what I'm trying to do is not complicate what I got going on there. There's a flat piece, there's a rolled piece, there's a bent piece, there's a round piece here in the front it's round here it's it's a hard piece to make if you're if you overwhelm yourself but i go to the shapes that are in front of me and i separate them and make them easy as possible and uh, for me uh, to make that bend all the way along this piece i suppose you could take 
and try to bend it over with a hammer and dolly and a pair of grips and beat on it and pound on it and it would take it all out of place. But I think myself, I'd rather do what I'm doing right now. Take it if you like it and throw it away if you don't. Try to get your metal um, in the place where you can grind off your weld. And what I mean by that, I've showed it many times, but you want that metal so the weld can stick in the middle. So I want half the metal here and half the metal there, just like it's running there right now, is what I want to make me self happy. And you can just apply it as it goes. Alrighty. Cut that off. Um, it's going to tack in a couple more places. Looks good. Awesome. Just going to undo that for a second. Let's cut this off. Let's check it first. So now I got a piece that goes up in there fairly good. Now I've got that rust covered in there. I'm going to cut this off up here. I got no rust pass there, so I should be fine. And also there was a piece there, so we'll just cut that off. We'll round things off as we go. What I mean by round things off is like the corner of that sharp piece, the corner of that sharp piece. After we get grinding it and get to making it what we want to make it, we will grind stuff off. Let's get this piece. And also, um, another part of this situation is I've never ever sold any cars that, that I've worked on or and the reason being is is I is no one likes them more than I do you know um, you cannot well, I'm not say you cannot but I enjoy this car I enjoy all the cars that we worked on and for me to sell something that I've worked on um, I was not always a fan but in all honesty, um, it's not practical for me to try to house all these project cars that I'm doing and thinking that I'm going to fix them all because it's not practical. So I, I'd rather maybe let a couple project cars go and that way there maybe I can get one done and be able to afford it. Just closing my eyes and pulling the trigger. And the reason being is, I can. Just take this off. Nice little, nice little repair of what's going on there, or I feel it's a nice little repair, looks good to me, nice little repair, can make that go on there like that, got the front piece on for the bolt, for the, for the bolt fender back on, I got this piece on that I can go along the top, the hardest part is to make it look good when it's over, um, and what I mean by, I would never want to just leave that little spot there, I'll end up coming along here and cutting that all out, cut this out, I'm going to weld this up, get it ready, and then we'll go for that. Jolene will tell me what time it is, and then you'll get to see what we're allowed. How's that lifting the paint up, Doug? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but kind of in spots, in spots like it is here. Look up around the windshield and in the middle. 
just instantly flies Can right I have off. your ladder for a sec? No. no I just want to look. <coughs> Suppose I'll let you this look. time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right on. Also, like I said, that, that stripper will strip paint. But not the primer. But it does not, it does not do anything to most primers. And then the worst one is uh, the lacquer primer is the one that it does, it does not touch. Uh, it has to be sanded off. But to sand off all that paint, um, I'd rather strip the paint and get down to the primer so we can sand that off and get it visually one, uh, get it all in bare metal. Um, and I also think that this car is going to look quite something else, quite dashing in bare metal, eh? Like Jolene said, I can't sell shit, but I can, I'm a good buyer. <laughs> <laughs> True but, that. What? I'm a good buyer. True that. And one thing I will say with this car, the motor sounds really good in this car, starts really good, or yeah, starts good, sounds good. The transmission leaks transmission fluid. It does. There's a seal that's leaking there or something, but it does work. So um, I just keep an eye on it and I have no, no issues with it. The brakes work. Uh, it's going to need, it's going to need tires and that sort of stuff, but I think that would be in the decision of the buyer um, to make himself happy. Go here. Being in a hurry. Alrighty. Close my eyes. No fret. Not really worrying about any warpage on this little panel. It's an inner fender and uh, not worrying about any of that sort of stuff. You get a flapper wheel. Get that going. So we are going a lot further than I wanted to on this car. <laughs> a lot further. But where, where do you stop? I'm probably going to stop when the paint comes off, the front end's on. That's it. We'll do the rust repair, obviously. And, and Doug's really partial to this car. But I know. I want this car myself, but <laughs> unless you're giving it away. Well, I am for the price, to be honest with you, but for the amount of work that we put into it. We put, there's probably more money and labor than I'm asking for it. Yeah. Yeah, there right. is. Yep. I guarantee it. You took us somewhere to get it done. There's oh, more man. money and labor than what I'm selling it for. If you think that's good, great. If you think it's bad, doesn't matter. <laughs> it is what it is. Now, when I grind it, when I grind this panel, when I grind this panel, I'm going to hold it flat this way. I'm going to hold it flat this way. I'm not going to try to angle that off and take that off. 
I had your glasses somewhere, sweetheart. I put them somewhere. Because I'm going to go. I picked them up and I put them somewhere, sweetie pie. <clears throat> they were. Uh -huh. You like those? <clears throat> those ones are blue. And those are for you. Those ones are in fashion. And those are yours. Huh? Don't get any stripper in your eyes, Doug. I can put in there and be happy with. Um, let's do this. Put in there like so. Have it set there, right? Now, you can see what I got it, where I've got it cut, or what I've got aligned to. See that? Cut it out and put this in. Take a look at the other side. No big major drama confliction there, I don't think. And this is an inner fender, so in all honesty, it can be tweaked a little bit. I mean, there's movement. You can see how it's slotted here, slotted here. All these cars in the 50s are shimmed and and uh, put where they are. So there's no big, you know, it has to fit fairly good, but everything can be shimmed and moved.
left a little bit on underneath the line because I do not want to cut it shy and not be able to put my get, put my piece in. Don't know why I have something against this other glove, but I'm going to put it on. Take the inner fender off. And I'm going to weld it or cut it from the other side. That's the bad piece. Trying to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to weld that in there. I'm taking no prisoners, so I'm just going to weld, just weld that in there. There's going to be a lip on the back where I've cut it off. <laughs> um, not, not going to worry about the lip in the back, and the reason being is. Um, and the reason being is because I can, I got the panel off. I can seam seal it from the back side. Um, I've got it cut off fairly nice so it looks nice. And then I'll just make sure all the seams are tight on the back side when I weld this bad boy in. And then I can uh, seam seal it from the back side. I'm going to weld that on there like yo, like so. How's it going, Douglas? Great, man, great. Oh, awesome. Gonna do that. <clears throat> Where did I put that helmet at? That's not the helmet, is it? On this other side? No, I don't see one. It is the helmet. It is the helmet. <clears throat> get it as tight over there as possible. I want a screwdriver. Dougie's got what I need. I got it. I stole it. Did you steal it? Yeah, it's all covered with Doug's grease. Doug's going my tools at nighttime, take them home in his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> then wrap myself out the next morning. Yeah. And Welding on there nicely. I like that. Welding right on that edge is going to be nice. That's going to be fine. Going to have to bend that one down a little bit to get to that. I'm going to grab a pair of C-clamps, hold it in place. Hot rod, Savoy. Hot rod. Probably could have cleaned that up a little bit better there before I whacked that off, and I'm gonna clean it up right at the present moment. Can't weld it the way I got it there right now. I gotta clean it up a little bit.
Awesome. I got her. Nice and tight. That is the main thing sometimes, is to get it tight. Do a nice wall job all the way around. A little spot right there, but so nice lovey that can't get it without moving the still stayed in place Not happy about that and I'm gonna weld it hammer and bang that in the corner there nice tight in there stays there Weld it where it's tight. Once you've got that sucker nailed in like that, where I've got that welded in there, wasn't feathered off there, now we can put a shot of weld on it. Hold it in place. That can be walled all on there nice. Let's get one on here because it's nice. You will butt it up there. Let's come down here. Looks good. Another thing too, you don't want to bend up your bend up your panels with your hammer. I hit, I hit stuff sometimes, um, but in all honesty, I'd rather not hit it at all if I could help it. And the reason being is I don't want any dents in the new panel that I just made. See how nice that matched up right there? This piece going in, that corner, matched up very nice. Matched up very nice. Let's get this fixed. All right, sweetheart, that's my fault. Gonna have to pound on that, obviously, to get it to work, but we're gonna get it in there. And we want it in there tight before we weld it. Gonna weld in the center here. So, gonna weld it all the way down there. I'm gonna take the zip cut and clean that up a little bit in there.
I still want that line, that, the body line there. Piece of metal there. I just want to trim it back some so I can get it nailed down. There. Just trimmed it back a little bit so when I weld it on there, I can get it ground off and make it look nice. Tap it on that corner and then I'll tap it a little bit further and knock it down better. Ball here. That's right. And then tap it down. Let's push ball here. I'm, I'm I'm knocking the metal down where it's tight. Sometimes there's a reason why I'm tacking in places, but right now I'm, the reason I'm tacking it in place here is because that was tight. That's not tight right there. You can see that that roll. That's it's straight, going straight and it's rolling down. So I'm just going to tuck this down to make it fit better. And the only way to get a nice hammer on it is to nail that down so it don't bounce. We'll tap that piece in place. And then we'll go ahead a little further, and that's got to roll up, and we'll get that down tight. Get it welded on tight. And we'll cruise right on through. Alrighty, we got the panel on there. The car is getting more valuable every time we weld a piece into it. It has to be because we're spending time on it. Time is worth more than money. We have this piece welded in there. We got a new piece welded in there. We'll have to get the holes off the old piece and transfer it onto this piece so we got the holes. Uh, we've got everything, everything looking good. Now we're going to see the underside. This is what's going to happen on the underside. See, I've got it cut out here. Where I've got it nice and tight, where it's tight there, um, that would be a place for seam sealer. Um, and that's basically what I'll do is I'll clean this side up. We'll, we'll rock guard this. We'll seam seal this. Throw a little rock guard over top of seam seal. You would never know that was done. When you look up underneath, you're not going to see any more rust. We've got to drill a couple holes in this for the fender to apply to. But we have a brand new piece in the inner fender that's going to make me happy. I'm going to weld that in solid. Uh, do a nice job on it, grind it off, and then we're on to the clean, cleaning and rock guard stage. That way there, the inner fender's been fixed. It had to come off. It had rust on it. Uh, you come back tomorrow, and we'll probably maybe be doing a little bit more of that stuff as the rust repair. I want to thank everybody for coming back. I want to thank everybody that buys the Hilts gear online. Thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, Jolene's looking amazing today. Doug's showed up in a happy I'm spirit here. today. <laughs> I enjoy that Doug comes happy every day. It means a lot when you can have somebody come to work or come help you and be happy. It I really enjoy does. coming here every day. I do. Well, we don't do well, it every, not every day. day but yeah, but yeah, he enjoys helping me. Um, that's, that's a great thing. But um, thank you for coming back. You can buy this car if you want to. And if you want to throw a bid in or throw an offer in on one of the other cars that we have done, uh, you're more than welcome. We've got the Thunderbird out there. 
not, I don't want to, but let's face it, if I have to, I got to. Uh, we have a, a, a truck out there. We've done quite a few projects on YouTube. Some I will and some I won't. But uh, basically we want to give the people that watch the YouTube a chance to get it for what we paid for it, labor free. Like, share, come back. We'll be here tomorrow. You come back and see us and we'll be here. Thanks a lot for everybody.